Welcome back guys to Mass Effect Andromeda as we head over to activate the purifying wave that tries to kill us, of course, as we try to, well, terraform a planet yet again. I've upgraded Rider since last time, so a couple of skill points here and there, mainly into upgrading the power of our tech explosions. The power of that charged ability right there. Oh, it seems we've got ourselves enemies in our path before we open anything up. Hopefully I hit him in the good bit. Are we an explosion that'll sort you out? Oh, you went behind the platform. Okay. Any others? No, just you. It seems everyone's having a good go at it. And destroying our enemies. This console will activate the purification field. You may want to sweep the area. Oh, that's not a problem. Yeah, we can sort this out, no problem. We just gotta run away from everything and get whatever we can on our path. Right, so time to purify because I don't think there's anything else around here. We've already got the remnant data core for this area after all. Well, that's fun, whatever that was. Explosion of purifying gas and doom. It's not what I need in my face. But at least this one's nice and easy to pick up. Keep moving. Says as that goes right in front of him. It's not a problem. I'll take the vanadium. Vanadium. And work on getting my way out apart from that. Oh, they've changed the shield stripping ones? That's not a problem. I can just cut through. Do you think I'm really scared of that? And is that our shut the door kind of thing there? It's definitely up the tunnel. I'll get that chest in a second then. Let's just make sure I don't die first of all, and then get it. Man, now it gets less terrifying. Get out of here. I will add this map to your interface, Pathfinder. Well, thank you for the map, but this door closed. I guess the gas was coming from the other side as well. We've already got a data core though, so I didn't really need to get those chests. So what was I supposed to do? Like, go grab it and come back? Would I have had the time for that? Oh well. Can't win them all. Let's get out of here. We've got the hidden data core after all, so I'm happy enough. And of course, already having missed a few isn't exactly great. And uh, it's a task I don't think I'll be able to complete, let's put it that way. Well, planet viability is surely up now. Anyone going to say anything about this fact? Pathfinder, ambient temperature has dropped to 34 degrees Celsius and continues to decrease. Humidity has increased by 21%. We can bring this place back to life. That we can. For the time being, I think I'll run away. You ducked at the wrong time for me, sir. I just have to end you. You didn't have to get violent with me. But once you did, that pretty much forfeited your life. So the ambient temperature's dropped to something that's completely bearable now. Already. Instantly. Go terraforming planet. Which then leaves us, of course, to turn in there. But we've just got to get ourselves that water as well on top of that. So let's go sort that out. Eladan looks nearly completely done. But the set that said, there's always going to be more like quests, etc. Everywhere we go. There's always going to be like secret bits in each world where probably more goodies lie I could get you an upgrade to a bunch of those parts more shit to get used to but maybe when there's less stuff on fire Ryder, worm worm Where? It's 
that wasn't the architect? Worm, stay out of its way. What the hell is that? Analysis shows it's a remnant, a missile. Locals call it the worm. Non-hostile and impervious to weaponry. However, I advise keeping your distance. Good to know. Now you tell me. You didn't tell me before. I thought it was technically what I already defeated. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. First of all, I'm just going to uh, ambush a bunch of remnant by accident. We can get out of here. It's fine. They won't begin shooting. As long as we book it as fast as possible. So I take it it's this bit here that we're after. Trees kind of give it away, but there's uh, more shaking. Ah! It's here. The unchecked out location. Wouldn't have expected it, would I? Except the fact that I noticed a weird, weird bit straight off the bat. Scan for information, you say? Well, it depends what we're scanning, doesn't it? We're going in that way. That's a lot more water than I was expecting. That is a lot of water indeed. Technically, it makes her kind of rich. Is it this? By the look of it, yes. Huh. I wonder what the Remnant Builder's plans were. You come to my home without even a hello, and now this? Poking around my private rooms, robbing me? Hey, I didn't take anything. Left every single drop of water where I found it. Count them if you like. Very glib. Do you know why I do this? My brother tried to help your people when they first came here. He showed them where to find shelter, allowed them to take freely from our water tanks. He was killed for his trouble. I won't be as foolish as Asgar. That's awful. You have my sympathy. I've no use for sympathy. You can keep it. These scavengers respect no one. Not me, not you. But they do respect the planet. As long as they need me to survive, they live by my rules. You want me to forget everything I've seen. Exactly. You say nothing. You allow me to protect myself and my home how I want. I don't know what to do. Because things could run wild, but... Uh -huh. You expect me to do this just because you asked nicely? Your Nexus needs resources to survive. Elodin is rich in those. What I gather, I will share... Just so long as Elodin remains mine. Mine. How long have you known about this water? Asgar and I found it years ago, on a mining expedition. The remnant nearly killed us. I knew, even then, that I wanted to keep it a secret. It gave us an advantage. It took time to convince Asgar, but he came around eventually. I made him promise. Do we interfere or not? She basically runs a monopoly. Of course, for outposts and the etc etc we can import water from Vold regarding our kind of way of doing things it's all about the scavengers really she is keeping some control on them by being the central part for it all it's kind of one of those governmental systems that might need to uh, stay in place for now until a better solution is found or you know the terraform of the planet continues and you know things become different 
It might be one of those evils that we allow for now. You have a deal. I'll say nothing about what I found here. You've made the right choice. In return, I'll share the resources I gather with you. I'll leave whatever I can spare in my office. Think of it as a tithe. That may not have been the best thing to do. I don't know what you would have done, but if it is currently leading to some kind of structure around the place, it's not all that bad, is it? Is it? If I have to question it, I guess the case is, then it probably is. But still. Well, it's back to the Tempest we go shortly, but for now we go back to the outpost to report a certain architect's de demise. We can't do anything about the worm, by the look of it. They'll probably figure out some way to destroy it in time. There's no way people would really want that to go around unchecked after all. And if it doesn't cause hostile things, maybe it's just part of the overall sorting things out. You tell him if we catch him there again, he's losing a hand. Actually, he should lose his hand, probably. Good news? The architect is pacified. It might come close, but it won't be a danger. That's a relief. Thank you, Ryder. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. Architect dealt with. You having a nice sleep over there? Partially in the sun. I'm sure the windows block the light out or the harmful UV. I don't know. Someone's sneaking into their family room. Into Chanka. That's a bit, uh, well. Weird. And shouldn't be allowed. Well, we're heading back to here. Of course, we can always go back to the Tempest from the Nomad on top of that. But let's just finish up our quest before we move on. I'd like to think we're speeding up with planet exploration at this point in time, but uh, who knows? How much more there is to go? I get a percentage mark for how much of the game is complete. Is Thirty-two degrees Celsius, Pathfinder. That's quite a change. The vault really did its job. I'm amazed at how not near the end it is. Well, Anaya, what's going on? You haven't said anything to anyone, I hope. Don't forget to check the office if you haven't already. Left something in there for you. Oh, well, we kind of know about her story now to an extent. I'll look around. She is, for all intents and purposes, the leader. The ruler. The whatnot. Well, going back to the temples will be interesting because, of course, we got the conversation about the whole... Um, yeah. Turian thing. Right, this is your office, isn't it? Is that a container that you left behind? Well, I'll take this nice little lovely stuff. Sure thing. Now, where is the Tempest part currently? Stop trying to kill each other. Goodness sake. Do I need, like... Loads of that medicine and just force it on people? And stop them being hyper-aggressive? Then again, it's people's choice to be what people want to be. I shouldn't affect that. But there's no side quests are appearing. There's got to be some more stuff out there in the blackness. You never know. But now we move on from Elodin. I'm sure we'll be back at some point. As we extract... I was about to say, are the bugs attacking? And they put a lot of thought into their presentation in terms of scenery in moments like this, by the look of it. Jal said he wanted to see you. Okay, Jal wants to see me. There must be emails as well on top of everything, because whenever we return, there's always emails. Return supplies. All medical supplies reclaimed from Outlaw Base have been dispersed to Initiative Outposts and Away Teams. Thank you for your assistance, Nexus Supplies. Serum update. I've been monitoring the scavenger who administered the serum too. His neural responses have improved dramatically and he looks to be making progress, but, and this is the weird part, he does seem to be displaying signs of slight depression. 
Whatever was affecting his brain chemistry seemed to have been releasing dopamine into his system and now he's suffering withdrawal. I think he'll even out after a few weeks, but I'm keeping an eye on him. In the meantime, I'll forward my results to the Nexus. If we're lucky, we can use this to stop neural decay before it begins. Right, data from Sam Ali, Dr. Akir. So the stuff of the past. The thing is, I remember Dr. Akir's name, but I didn't reckon, remember exactly if he did anything bad or not, and I think he did do bad stuff. In fact, now I'm trying to recall things. Wasn't he experimenting on, like, people? Like, seriously? Yeah, now I've just really remembered what this research is about. Ah. Yeah. Adjustment of retrovirus in the last batch of soldiers result in a success ratio of only 8%. This is unsatisfactory. I smashed many tanks in my fury. I'll start again. I'm committed to creating perfection. The perfect Krogan. A super soldier beyond belief. That's what you were doing, wasn't it? Someone named Dr. Gana con contacted me to consult on potential cures for the genophage. I sent him away. Why double in mediocrity when we can aim for brilliance? So maybe we're not even helping them with the genophage stuff. I don't know. Remnant brain. Okay, so just for fun, I decided to blast the remnant data core with energy to see what that would do. First, use the battery off the Nomad. Don't tell Gil. Nothing. Then a Mass Effect field biotech's core help. Still nothing. And then I took it to Jal and made him do his bioelectricity thing. Jackpot. The entire thing lit up. I called it all my Omni tool. Ever see synapses firing? It was like this. I mean, this data core is almost like a tiny remnant brain. So that's cool. Not sure how exactly I'm going to apply this to getting the data, though. Someone needs to try harder. Well, it seems I've got a quest always stuck on now. Well, we need to go to the VidCon, don't we? You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. I always have things like that outstanding. Where's everyone going? You following Vetra around, are you? You enjoy that there, PB. Prepping VidCon communications. I've got a difficult conversation. Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything all right? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I think it's an SOS from Mason. It could be coming from your salmon plant. He's sending me his location. We did find evidence that Natanus may be intact. What evidence? A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the logs show it happened long after Natanus hit the Scourge. Someone's still flying the damn thing. We're keeping it afloat, at least. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. We'll find answers. Okay then, Avitus. We do get to follow up on this a bit more. It's not just a done and done. So Jal wanted to speak to me as well. What about this time? Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you. What? Uh, I'm... I'm not scared uh, one second what's going on in here you look busy if i'm busy my mind is occupied with whatever i'm working on uh, rather than worrying whatever gets you through uh, i'd like your advice on something i'm making gifts for everyone i have a list gifts hmm. do turians like poetry for Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Uh, Liam seems to like my Rothjin. I might sew him one. He does? Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or I don't feel like I am. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. 
Thanks for listening. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. And y'all needed just a little bit of kind prompting by the look of it. A little bit of doubt creeping in by the look of it. Right then, if I've got some more AVP outstanding, we've got six crow pods still to unlock. What can I unlock this time? We've got hidden caches around established forward stations. Probably not a bad thing. We'll take that. Of course, we've got all the rewards to collect as well. A lot of stuff to get. Always prepared unlocks one extra consumable slot. We've got Apex mission stuff. And a chance to receive some more stuff. So basically, things that follow on. I want more better rewards, basically. A large amount of credits at regular intervals? Yeah, we'll unlock you then. Right, grey market connections. We haven't unlocked that yet. Viability of 70% required on Kadara. Currently 0%. Oh, that's a whole plan to explore too? Lots to do. Gain access to special inventories from merchants. Maybe that would not be a bad idea. It seems most of the other stuff I can do is currently unlocked. Right, increase the research day gain from all sources by 10%. Yes. Additional common mining nodes will be made available. We got reduce the amount of time it takes to earn research points. Reduce the amount of time required to gather minerals. And further increases research data gain from all sources by an additional 10% as well. It's great innovation. Increases augmentation slots by one on all research projects. Fine. And that's that. More stuff gain there. And then, of course, we got research and the whatnot to carry out. For armor, weapons, and everything we could ever want. Well, how's the Black Wado? Black Wado? Yeah, how's that going? Alright, it seems I can unlock the last version of that. So that'll power that up a fair bit. And then where do we go from there? Well, I'm going to check this out and see what I want to do. But we've got the Black Widow all fully powered. we just got to make ourselves yet another one. Credits delivery, all the whatnot. We continue on next time on Mass Effect Andromeda. We're going to go find the Turian Ark, wherever it may be. Bye-bye.